John, J-O-N. My last name is Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. You need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014. Trials Change 2013 and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change. And we need change now. It's Sunday, August 17th, 2014. Sunset, Venice Beach, California. You just hear the tribute to the doors. Basically every Sunday for about nine months, I think it is. They have a Doors tribute at the corner where the Doors met. And it just goes with people. We're reliving history. We have the same thing going on in this nation today that the hippies stood up against. But this time, that domestic enemy is a well-oiled machine from those premeditated oil wars in the name of God that followed 9-11. be fighting wars in the name of God is as insane as the royal rulers and so-called leaders creating them. The state of this union is pathetic, a direct reflection of the pathological leaders ruling it. And we need to stand for the truth now. The truth is the word of God. Does anyone in this nation truly believe we're, we're being ruled under the truth right now? We're living under the truth? I don't think there is. I just think everyone's too afraid to say anything. Afraid of being put on a list or whatever they're going to do. But we need the truth on 9-11. The wars in the New World Order. One thing leads to another. And New World Order isn't a conspiracy theory. It was promised. And I believe we're living out a royal made script to deliver on the promise of a New World Order by Skulls and Bones Secret Society member Bush 41. Hitler promised a New World Order. And it goes with Skulls and Bones Bush 41 being the son of Skulls and Bones Prescott Bush. His royal war pig banks were shut down for funding the Nazis in World War II. We allowed the son and the grandson of the banker of the Nazis to become president. What could possibly go wrong? Everything could go wrong. Everything. We better stand up now, people. Everything America stood for has been lost because the people refused to stand for the truth. I believe we have a case of paybacks in our bitch. I believe we're being paid back for declaring our independence. If we don't stand out, the Revolutionary War is gonna have to be wiped straight from the history books. As America gets wiped off the face of the map is the question. The true winner of World War II will need to be rewritten. Nazi Germany, again, We've allowed the son and the grandson of the banker of the Nazis to become our president. And they're in the, ro they're in the bloodline of the royals from across the pond. The Bushes and Skulls and Bones Secret Society member, Secretary of State John Kerry. That, the, our choices in the election after 9-11 was Skulls and Bones Royal Bush 43 for Skulls and Bones Royal John Kerry. We got Skulls and Bones royalty either way. No outsiders allowed to uncover inside job. Maybe, just maybe. And that's why people, we need to stand now. Stand for the truth. It's the word of God. The truth and the people seeking and speaking it. Yours truly here, one of them is the enemy of this nation being ruled under secrets and lies. The truth has been turned into conspiracy theory. And based on that theory, God's going to become the next enemy. In his word, the next conspiracy theory. And I believe it's called the Lu Luciferian conspiracy based on Marxist-Hegelian logic.
You, you need to look at that. Yeah, I saw it in a video. That talked, it was talking about skulls and bones. And it didn't make complete sense because everything we're told is the opposite of the, our royal rulers and so-called leaders' intentions. That's what we need to look at. It's why nothing makes sense, and it's all nonsense in my book. It's all nonsense. It's all a lie. It's all secrets. And we need to stand for the truth now. Again, the truth is the Word of God. How, how could you expect this world to change? How could you basically plan for this world to exist if we're not living under the Word of God? People need to look at this. I'm serious as the day is long. I'm serious as long as this sunset. Because I believe the sunset is setting on America. We need to stand for the truth now. Well, our royal rulers and so-called leaders can keep secrets and tell us lies. God knows all. And I believe he's seen and heard enough. And can anyone blame him? Can anyone blame him? I don't know everything, and I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of living in a sick and twisted nation world being ruled under secrets and lies. And we, we need to stand for the truth now. That, that 2004 election, Skulls and Bones royalty election, I believe it proves our elections are rigged and the two parties are really one. The Federalist Party, part of the World Federalist Movement. Look that one up. It, it was in existence at one time and it was forced out of existence because it was, it was close ties to the royal family that we declared our independence from. And that's why people, I believe we're under the rule of the very people that we declared our independence from. The royal family of liars along with their royal leaders holding holy books. And again, we, we declared our independence for a lot of reasons. In the New World Order, again, it's not a conspiracy theory. It was promised to you. And you're seeing out the plan. That's the way I see it. I believe we're living out a script to deliver on the promise of a New World Order. And their goal is for one world government, one world currency, and one world religion. And it's theirs. And if you think it's yours, you better think again while well, you still can think for yourself because that one world order, one world religion will do the thinking for you. And you better think about that one for, for a minute, for an hour, for a day. Maybe for the rest of your life because guess what? I don't think we have a lot long to live, people. I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 lie. That's my conclusion. After two years of doing this, I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 lie. And I believe we're living out a script that's a dead ringer to the book of Revelation in the Bible. It's the end story written by John. And I believe it directly relates to the message I've received from above. I believe the message of the spirit of truth, John 16, 13, is the truth or the end. The truth or the end. Take your pick. It only makes sense. Anyone willing and able to pull off 9-11 in the wars is willing and able to pull off anything and everything, including the end, at least for us. And we have nuclear world war against the great enemy from the north as we stand by the side of Israel until the day we die, being played out as I speak. I used to be writing that it was being created it's more than being created right now, people. And all you have to do is look at the homepage of Yahoo today, any day. And you tell me it has nuclear World War III written all, written all over it. And it's all based on secrets and lies, just the way the royals like it. Again, this... this I believe there is a mass conspiracy and a mass cover-up includes the mass media the destruction of America. And anyone involved in it is as guilty as the people that pulled off 9-11. You better think about that one for a minute. Because when 9-11 when goes down, there's going to be some big people going down. And I'm not just talking about here on Earth either. 
I believe these people are gonna burn in hell, and that's what they deserve. Yeah. To be fighting wars in the name of God is the ultimate insult to my God. He says, thou shalt not kill. That's why the people that did pull off 9-11, I don't believe they should be killed. I believe my God says, thou shalt not kill. And that's why to be fighting these wars in the name of God, it, it's, as, again, it, it's as insane as those royal rulers and so-called leaders ruling our country. All based on secrets and lies. All ruled by the root of all evil that's touched every branch of our so-called nation, nation, our government, in the, in the district of corruption. Home in the DC comics. The only time they tell the truth is when they're joking. And that's, that's the truth. L listen to these, those White House correspondence dinners. That's the only time they, they tell the truth. That's why we're, we're 17 and a half trillion dollars of debt. We're on the verge of a nuclear World War III, and we don't even know who our president is or where he was born. But if anyone believes all the problems that this nation faces, all the Goliath problems this nation faces, arrived with our current so-called president, whoever he is, they don't even know what the royal Nazi messianic satanic problem is. And again, I not only believe 9-11 was an inside job, I believe it was turned into a royal, Nazi, messianic, satanic ritual. And I believe it relates to Revelations 9 through 11. The sort of destruction in an inferno. And I, I think we're getting close to chapter 13. I think that's what 16, 13, John 16, 13. I think John 16 represents the truth of my message. And I think 13 represents the end. Chapter 13. Is, is abomination being led into the abomination of desolation? That's my question. Hey, I think we're living out of script, people. And I, I'm not so sure. Our, our first black president wasn't created. But that, that's why I'm saying, come on, man. Come on. Stand up. Instead of being the first dictator of the new world order, why don't you be, as crazy as it sounds, by the greatest president? for simply telling the truth and bringing down all these conspirators in the destruction of America in search of a new world order. Their new world order. They already own and control almost everything anyways, but they, this, is, this is more. That one world religion, again, it's going to do the thinking for you, people. And, and anyone willing and able to pull off 9-11, is, is that who should be ruling this world? Are you kidding me? And that's why I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 life. And I'm serious. And I'm as serious as the day is long. You better stand now. It only makes sense. I will continue to write and do these videos until I hear the truth or die trying. Just like JFK, my namesake. Just like Joan of Arc, my bloodline. And just like Jesus, my savior. I believed the script of the royal plot to deliver a new world order I believe it has us living out the end of the Christian calendar based on the beginning. And I think the people ruling this nation and world today are the same, are the blood, same bloodline of the royals that put Jesus on the cross and burned Joan of Arc at the stake and put a bullet in the head of JFK, pulled off 9-11 in the wars, and now they're going for the throat. The co complete destruction of America into a new world order. And if you don't see it, you better wake up right now. Wake up, know your enemy, take the power back. The words of rage against the machine. They screamed at us over 20 years ago about everything happening to our nation today, and it proves that this is a plan. Just like everything that JFK warned us about in his secret society speech over 50 years ago. Everything he warned us about is ruling our nation today. And I believe the same can be said of his separation of church and state speech, because it all goes back to that too. Again, a Luciferian conspiracy gathered with some of the royal rulers from these churches. Are you kidding me? And that's why God's seen it and heard enough. And that's why you better stand up now, people. I'm telling you. The truth of the end. And all you have to do is take a look. If, if, if you don't believe it, that, that's your choice. Again, that, that new world order, one world religion, isn't going to allow you to make that choice anymore. But you have that choice right now. But all you have to do is take a look at this world around us to know this is true. 
and, and messages from above do run in my blood. Again, my mom's blood has been traced back to Joan of Arc, and she received a message around 600 years ago that the royal family of England was taking over France. And I believe the same could be said of us today. And after JFK was assassinated, my mother received a message saying our government was involved. Of course, she was called crazy or whatever else people want, a conspiracy theorist, whatever they want to call. But guess what? She was right. And the majority of Americans now do believe our government was involved in the assassination of JFK. I believe America is living out the JFK story right now. The truth of the end. And, and JFK just so happens to be known as the last president to tell the truth. He was assassinated and goes with Honest Abe was assassinated too. Honesty and the truth just don't cut it in this world, being ruled under secrets and lies, under the royals that we declared our independence from. And of course it's the royal bankers. And again, it's the churches? Are you kidding me? That's why you, you need to stand up now, people. I'm telling you, this is it. The truth of the end. You are living out the end. And I, I, believe, I believe it's a script. A royal-made script. By the same people that make the, the movies over just for, by within 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And that's why I stand for the truth. It's the word of God. Jesus rose from the dead. The question is, is he returning sooner rather than later? The doors just tribute just played a waiting for the sun. I've written about that one. Are we is it waiting for the sun, S U N, or is it waiting for the sun, S O N? The Beatles song, Here Comes the Sun, S U N, or is it Here Comes the Sun, S O N? And, it, and I believe if Jesus does return, that means the people fail to test the time from above. The people fail to stand for the truth, the Word of God, when they need it the most, and that's in the end. That's why, if you really look at this, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not that hard to figure out, people. This is a script. And, and the, again, I believe we're give, being given the test of time from above. It, it only makes sense. You, you have things like 9-11, the assassination of JFK, who tried to stop these people. That's why it all makes sense. And you can call me whatever you want. If the, if the world hates you, know they hated me first, John. I, from what I've been told is I, I believe that there's two Johns in the Bible but yet I I think it's all related to my message I really do and I believe John Kennedy is part of my message and again I'm named after JFK my mom named me after JFK two years prior to the assassination of JFK theater of a secret society speech I, I don't know I just celebrated my birthday yesterday, and I spent it down in Venice Beach carrying my sign. Demand the truth, starting with 9-11, the wars of the New World Order. We need to stand for the truth. It's the Word of God. Again, my name's John, J-O-N. My last name's Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. Need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014. It follows Change 2013 and Change 2012. Because God, no, God knows we need change, and we need change now. Peace.